Hi, I'm Charlie. Welcome to another instalment of Channel Mum Meets. I am in the car about to head off to meet the lovely Laura Hamilton. Um, so I have got cakes in the boot of my car, but I've got a feeling she's going to have better cake at her house. So we'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome to Laura's house. Maybe Laura should be welcoming us, but thank you so much for having us. Oh, thank you. And not only coming. that, Laura has provided the cake. So this is vegan lemon drizzle cake. Yes, it is. Which has come from Laura's... Co is it, I keep calling it a coffee shop. Is it a coffee yeah, shop? Yeah, it is a coffee shop. It's a coffee shop deli and a post office. Yes. So then we do other events as well. Yeah, as well. Lord Roberts on the Green, mm -hmm. and they specialise in like vegan cake. And I'm thinking I can't talk and eat, so I'm going to have to say this to afterwards. You, you talk and I'll eat. <laughs> you eat. So Laura, so your this is your latest business enterprise. How do you do it all? So you've got you've um, you do a place in the sun. So you're always jetting off on one well, on, on a holiday. holiday. Yeah, <laughs> that's what everyone says. It's not a holiday. No. So you're always jetting off around the world working. Yep. You have two children, Rocco yeah. who's three and Talia who's two and you take them with you as well. Yeah. And you're running your post office slash coffee shop business. Oh my goodness, how do you do it all? Um, I don't sleep very much, that's the don't answer. You? No, my brain is always, always worrying. I've always got ideas. Um, I just think you're a long time dead, you might as well grab it all in, right? Yeah. Uh, no, look, I, I couldn't do what I do without help. I'll hold my hands up and say, you know, I'm not, I'm not a stay-at-home mum. I'm a go-away mum and bring my children with me. Which yeah. it's, I'd say being a stay-at-home mum is probably the hardest, hardest job in the world. Um, but then I'd also say it's not easy travelling with two children two weeks no. of every month. But um, I'm incredibly lucky that I can take my children with me to work. Um, at Channel Mum, there's um, lots of mums are interested in in travelling with small children, and mm -hmm. there, there are lots of videos on Channel Mum about you know top tips for what to pack in their bag for the mm -hmm. plane. What would be like your top three tips for traveling with small children? Okay, um, obviously weight of your luggage, you don't want it to be too heavy. And when you've got all this extra stuff to take, things that take up weight are wipes. Because I always take if wipes. If you think how, so take one pack, yeah. one pack, and then you buy the rest when you're there. You think, oh, I need to take tons and tons. Actually, just take it in your hand luggage for the flight. Did you take um, sterilizers as well? Because I always think, I've got a travel you... sterilizer. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I've got like a little travel sterilizer that I that I took um, because I did a mixture of breastfeeding and, and bottle feeding. Because when I was out filming on location, I'd be expressing yeah. and then, I'd, then it would need to go into the So bottle. you have to take your pump as well. <clears throat> Wow, yeah, yeah. On. But as I say, the older they get, the less kind yes. of stuff you, you have to take. I'd say snacks, uh, take a few, but obviously, again, you can you can buy stuff on a flight, but it can be expensive. Um, I swear by, now the children are older, my, the tablets. Yes. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm really somebody that, because tablets don't just have to be about watching videos. You can download books on them. You can yeah. download interactive games. And both Rocco and Talia have got, like portable tablets. You know, there are times when I'm with the children, they're running around and an email will pop up and I'll be like, that's really urgent, I've got to respond to it. And then Rocco and, and Talia were saying, mummy, mummy, and I'm like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, I just need to respond to this. And you think, this is so bad, you know, I should, we should have a rule where I'm with them, I put my phone down and that's office time and this is their time, but it is, it's that It doesn't always work like no. that, does it? Um, so when you're traveling, do you still do kind of like bath, book, bed? You, are you still quite, you're quite strict on that? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, bath, yeah. book, bed. We've got a couple of French books. Um, we've got Spanish books, so they can't speak French or Spanish. Although when we were in a hotel a couple of weeks ago, we were in France, and a man said to Talia, "How old are you?" And she went, "Dos." So I was like, "No, Talia, we're in France." It's duh. But Bless you know, her, they just yeah. do. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. So I try. I've tried to play them like French nursery rhymes or you know Spanish television. They see cartoons and things when we're obviously abroad. Um, soft play or the park? The park. I'm going to say the park. I hate soft play. I think if you can be out on a mountain in the fresh air, yeah. then I think can beat that. Okay. Um, granny knickers or G-string? Oh, G-string. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm granny knickers these days. <laughs> yeah, but you're pregnant then. No, but anyway, <laughs> seriously. Uh, mum crush. Who's your mum crush? Jessica Alba. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a, a mum, a businesswoman. 
She looks amazing. Right, Laura, thank you so much for being part of Channel One Meets. Thank you. Um, thank you for the cake. I am now actually going to go and eat it. You're welcome. Um, but thank you for having us in your house. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this instalment of Channel One Meets. Let us know in the comments below what you've thought of our chat and also anyone else you would like to see in this series. Leave some suggestions below and we'll do our best and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you.